Hi, this is Ashley Feeks. You saw my last video. So for the past four months, I've been doing a capstone project on the management at Arby's and I've learned a lot of things like cash control and truck ordering. But today, um, I'm gonna teach you the cash control sheet because in any, in any restaurant, it doesn't matter if it's Arby's or McDonald's or Chick-fil-A, Cash control is one of the most important things because it's where a lot of mistakes are made between managers and it's where definitely we gotta like all keep watch of. So today I'm going to teach you about the um, cash control. Here we go. So as you can see I have my cash control sheet and I'm just gonna walk you through this completely. So shift one. So shift one, it stands like that means the manager who is opening the store. So this is before the store is even actually open. This is before any customers come. They count both drawer, drawer one, drawer two, and drawer five. So there are two drawers up near our lobby section, and then there's one drive through. So register five is for a drive through and register two and one are for the lobby. Now guest recovery cards on hand are meal cards. So basically a meal card is let's say somebody gets a brisket large meal and one of the managers accidentally gave him a Reuben meal. And they call and they say, hey, you messed up my meal. So that would count in as a meal card if we ever gave him a refund. EDC. Um, credit cards that are working, so credit cards that went through, that would be how to count that part. Inspect network, so that are our USB ports, which are thumb drives that detect if there's anything foreign in our computer. Like, let's say somebody tried hacking us, and there's like a foreign, like, name in there, you know? Like, it'll know. So... NBO, that actually just stands for our backup computer system, so it's just in case our original one cr crashes or something, that we have a new one to go along with it. Okay, let's go down here. So right here, you can see all the times. You see 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., all the way to closing. And what we do is whichever manager is there, they count the money. And then they put their initials. And this is only for the manager. And then they do it at register 2 and register 5. Now this, you add up all three and you get your total right here. Same with this. Manager at the time. Cash amount right here. Register 1, 2, and 5. Lobby, lobby, drive through. Total right there. Now after you get all your totals, those are all your totals right there. So that's adding these two each time adding the totals of cash each time, all of them, all three to get these. Then to get the very total amount at the very end of the night, you're going to add all of your bottom totals and that will be the amount of money you had for the whole day. So cash register verification AM. So the morning managers like to count the registers in the morning and then they do another count at the night. Pending change order. So this is how much money is for the week. And we go from a company called Loomis that has our trucks of ordered food. Now the drop vault, the drop vault is a vault that can only be accessed once a day to get all of the main cash and change into. And it can't be gotten into until it's the next day. Now our storage vault is our leftover cash and chain just in case, let's say we run out of dimes or we run out of $1 bills. That's where we get that. Now, change fund drop. This is where our $1 bills and $5 go, so that goes into our drop vault to make it more secure. And we just check these to make sure everything is in check. Well, that was our cash control sheet. Oops. That was our cash control sheet. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next. Have a great day.